Stampers is teaching with Stamp Fanatics, and today we're going to make this cute little birthday box. It makes a cute little treat for someone for a party, or just as a little gift to put for one of your co-workers or your friends at school. And this has a little happy birthday saying, and so what I'm using from our New Occasions catalog is the Picture Perfect Birthday Stamp Set, which looks like this. It's on page five of our new catalog. And I'm going to be using this little happy birthday sentiment and also this little confetti just to make it a little more festive. And then down here, I'm also going to be using our Picture Perfect Party Designer Series paper. And if you notice, that's the one I'm using. And that comes in our Occasions catalog also. And let's see what else. Um, the glimmer paper, I've got it from the Mitts. Let's see, Myths and Magic, and it's six by six, and you get a whole pack of this beautiful glimmer paper that comes in the Dazzling Diamonds White, the Bermuda Bay, and then this Lemon Lime Twist color, and the pack is $15, and you're going to get 24 sheets, eight of each one, and I've just gone through one so far, so it really does stretch. And here's what that um, designer series paper is. It's also a six by six pack and comes in a lot of pretty different patterns, um, very festive colors. I've just really enjoyed using this and it's photographic, so it, it really looks three-dimensional. So what we're gonna do, let's see, and then also for the ribbon, I actually got this three pack free in our celebration. Celebration is a catalog that for every $50 that you spend in any of our catalogs, you can earn items for free. And this little three pack was one of the items that I earned for free. So it has a Bermuda Bay. It has a nice, um, let's see, this one is basic gray. And this one is Calypso Coral. And if you can see, it's a real sparkly, shiny type of ribbon. It's just gorgeous. So I'm gonna be using the Bermuda Bay today. And so what you're gonna need is, you're gonna need a piece of Bermuda Bay cardstock that measures four by nine, and we're gonna score that in a minute. And then a little scrap piece of Whisper White for our saying. And then we're going to use two ink colors, which is the Bermuda Bay, and we're gonna use the Berry Burst. And then our circle punches, I'm gonna use the one inch, the one and a half inch, and the one and three eighths inch. And that's what, how we're gonna make our sayings and we're gonna make a little tab for the front of the box that we're gonna cut out down here to make it easy to open. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go and start scoring first. I'll bring in my simple scoring tool. And on the four inch side, we're going to take our stylist and we're gonna score at one inch and at three inch. Okay, and then we're going to turn it on the 9 inch side and we're going to score at 1, 4, 5, and 8. And that's it. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold on all the score lines and really get a nice crisp um, scored line because when you're making a box, you really want to have crisp edges. So just go ahead and use your bone folder. I love this. This is by Stampin' Up! and I've had it for years and it still is wonderful. And just go ahead and fold all your square lines. Okay. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut up on those score lines just straight up to that first score line that we did at the one and three. And I'm just going to miter the tab just a bit. And so again, I'm just going to cut and miter and just do that all the way around the box. So let me go ahead and finish that. the colors in this birthday paper. It's just so festive. I actually made a card and now I'm making a little box. I just, I'm getting ready for everybody's birthdays that are coming up this year. Okay, so now we've got all of our tabs and everything ready. So before 
I start gluing, I want to take my designer paper and I'm gonna cut two pieces, three quarters of an inch by one and three quarters. I'm cutting two. I'm cutting two of two and three quarters by three quarters. And then I'm gonna do two of two and three quarters by one and three quarters. So I'm just gonna take some of my snail. Let's get it all up here so you can see. And I'm just gonna run some and put it right down on the end of the box. Kind of center it there. Okay, and then one of the larger ones, and you'll kind of see the pieces and you'll know where they go because it's not hard to figure out. Okay, let me just get that little bit of glue off. Okay. And we're just gonna line it up all the way down the box. And then I'm gonna put the little one on the other end. And before I put on the two sides, I'm going to take my one inch punch and I'm just gonna make oh, about a quarter of it for a little notch. So this way, when you open the box, you'll have a way of doing it. And this is gonna be the top and the front of my box. So these two pieces will now be the outside of my box. Ahead and attach those. All right, and we'll put one on the other side, and we're almost done. Okay, so now I'm ready for the tabs, and these little tabs, I'm going to put my glue. So I'm going to use a stronger glue. You can use your Tombow if you like liquid glue. I'm going to actually use some of my Fast Fuse. You could use tear and tape, whatever you feel more comfortable with, but you do need a stronger glue. If you're gonna put something in the box, you don't want it to come apart. So I'm just kind of going around on all my tabs and putting on my glue. Okay, one more. And there, I think we have it. Okay, so I know this is gonna be the front of my box. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put my tabs in. And the same thing, I'm going to work them on this end. And just match that up. Okay, and then I know these are going to go on the inside because this is going to be the outside of my box. So I'm going to go ahead and attach that to the bottom. Tuck that one in too. And then we're ready to close our box. So we're just going to bring that over the top and close just like that. Okay, the next thing I did was I took some of this beautiful ribbon and I just wrapped it around, let's see, about like that, I wanna have enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie a little bow, let's get rid of this up at the top. All right, my box is opening like that, yes. Okay. And you do want to put your candy or treat or gift card or whatever you're going to put in there in before you tie your bow. And then I'm just going to bring this around. Hopefully this will work. All right, so the next thing we have is our saying. I'm just going to um, angle my corners a little bit on that ribbon. So let's just go ahead and do that. There we are. And then with the ribbon. So now I'm going to take that little piece of white cardstock and I'm going to take my Berry Burst Ink and I'm just going to st stamp the sentiment, Happy Birthday. And then with my one and three, three eighths inch circle punch, I'm going to go ahead and cut that out right in the middle. And then I thought it looked a little bare, so I'm going to take my Bermuda Bay and the little um, confetti that came in the kit, and I'm just going to stamp a little on the top and the bottom, just to make it look a little more festive. 
And then I'm going to take my one and a half inch punch. I'm going to take a piece of that wonderful glimmer paper. That's Bermuda Bay. And I'm going to take glue dots. When you have glimmer paper, you want to make sure you have a strong adhesive or otherwise it will come off. So I'm just going to go around and use some of my glue dots to attach it. You can use your Tombow glue. Just use a strong adhesive because glimmer paper will release if it's just, you know, if you just use snail or something like that. So I'm pressing that on real good. And then I'm going to use one of my dimensionals. Let's see, I've got a new pack here. Set that open. There we go. And I'm going to pop that up on the box right there. And then you can play around with the ribbon, how high or low you want it. But that's all there is. And that's my box. Isn't that cute? I mean, those are make such fast and easy, cute little favors if you're having a little birthday dinner or a birthday party. So I hope you enjoy this video. And if you want to see more of the measurements and supplies, you can just go to my blog, stampfanatics.com, and I'll have all the information there for you. And also, um, if you need to purchase any of these products, you just need to click on the picture of the product, and it'll take you right to my store. Thanks, and have a great day.